Hey guys, today we're playing Terminator for the Sega CD. I never played any other. I never played the Sega CD version before. And most of the other Terminator games I've played have been pretty awful, so hopefully this will be good. I've seen some of this on YouTube. And, um, yeah. Scenes from the actual movie with the actual soundtrack. Sometimes when you play Sega CD games, like, they'll show, like, scenes. And I can't think of which ones. I think Batman the Animated Series was one of them where they didn't use the actual music and stuff from the show. Because a lot of times I guess they don't have the license for the music but they do for the show or movie. This actually has the sound from the movie. Impressive. I mean this looks horrible at the time though. I thought this was really impressive. Look it's so grainy they've actually had to use Sega Genesis font to t say like the little... I guess that'd be the little title card or whatever. A little opening. I don't know what you would call that. And they're actually using music from the movies. Which is really impressive for a Terminator game. Because they rarely do that. The first Terminator is probably my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Probably my favorite out of the Terminator series. It used to be the second one, but there's just something about the noir feeling of Terminator, and it's almost like a horror movie at the same time. It's and not knowing about the story, I guess, and the characters finding about all this for the first time. Like because when you go into Terminator 2, like Sarah Connor at least talks about the Terminators and stuff like that. She kind of takes Kyle Reese's place, so. I think it grew on me like the first Terminator. Alright. This is super sensitive. That was actually ridiculously sensitive. I hope my controller isn't busted. Alright, we have an intro. I used to love the little futuristic dreams that he had they were kind of dark and sh and they were just him having like post-traumatic stress disorder All right this music's kind of off oh, I got a little laser gun at least he doesn't look as bad as those terminators from the first PS2 terminator game that came out all the characters look completely different. They're like wearing weird futuristic suits. This actually looks like the stuff that they actually wore in the movie. I do have to say, the music sounds cool, but it really sounds like something that should be in a shooter, not this game. Playing this directly and like behind a window and it's reflecting on my computer screen or my monitor whatever uh, come on so far this seems better than every terminator game I've played Especially that awful one on the NES. The Sega Genesis version is somewhat similar. But it starts off differently. I don't think I've played the Super Nintendo version, but I've seen it and it's different from that version too. Super Nintendo version looks super hard. This is just looks hard because I'm bad at it. The graphics are pretty good for a Sega Genesis game. The sound effects are pretty genesy. <sighs> I, mean, I guess I made up that word. It's weird to play Sega CD games because most of the audio is Sega CD, like CD audio, but um, the actual sound effects sound like they're straight out of the Genesis. It's kind of weird. It kind of contradicts itself. It's cool you could shoot up. I'm glad that they added the the Terminators with that big minigun like they had in that one sequence where you could 
that breaks into the... I guess the resistance is what you would call them, like hide out. And you can see his glowing eyes. I'm digging this so far. Levels seem kind of maze like. So I hope I'm going the right way. Again, I wish they would have kept with the tone of the title screen's music, the actual Terminator theme. That would have been awesome. Like, the music isn't bad, it, it just, in my opinion, doesn't fit the theme of this game. Like, I could totally see this m music more in a spaceship shooter. Like a lot of the other ones I've played. Oh, uh, no. I gotta walk through that. <laughs> oh, that was a dirty trick. I'm so glad I have the machine gun now. Before I had to tap the buttons, now I can just hold it. It's actually pretty helpful. They look like they have the guns from the, the arcade game. Wonder if you can get that gun. The sniper rifle scope on this gun, but see that's a dirty trick there. But there's a save point over there too. Yeah, that didn't help me at all. And now I can't get out of here. At least I don't think. Oh, too bad he can't roll. Is that thing broke? I'm gonna die. Me and my greediness. Oh, there we go. Now I have a Sonic the Hedgehog shield. This is kind of tricky because it kind of has contra controls. Actually, you stay still on the ladder. That's good. I think he walks when you try to shoot diagonally. Uh, fuck that shit. Uh, those actually look like the Terminators. The T1 models from the Terminator 3. I wonder if that was ever in the concept art of like the original Terminator because it looks just like it. But I guess if you think about it, it kind of looks similar to the um... Those little tank robots. I think what they call the hunter killers are the um... ones that fly. Or the HKs or what they call them. Terminator is one of my favorite movies and I don't know all the lingo. I remember when I first saw Terminator, when I was a kid it kind of scared me. I didn't realize it was a robot, I just thought it was like a metal, metal skeleton, like it was like Conan or something. Like it was supernatural in some way. I remember waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning and going to my parents room and the movie was on, they were asleep. I remember seeing it and when you're a kid you see something scary and it scares you but yet you can't look away. Like some of these foreground elements kind of are confusing because they look like barriers that you can't cross. I apologize if I sound congested. I believe these are continue checkpoints are explosives probably explosives yeah damn I feel kind of dumb all right how do I get damn it There's an exit there, but you're gonna run into that guy. There's probably like a really simple solution. Alright, this soundtrack kinda sounds like it's going to the 80s right now. You said exit, you piece of shit. Is that just. Thank goodness. That was that was really fun until I got to the end that 
exit or, or whatever was kind of mean. Mission completed, though. Should pat myself on the back. Oh, we get treated to another cutscene. They're really milking out these future sequences. A Sega CD cutscene with a fairly high budget. Of course, it's taken from a movie, but... Man, that's pretty bad. I can barely tell what's going on now. I thought these were so great when I first played it, but, you know, I didn't have any experience of, like, cutscenes or anything. I didn't have a PC. Like, my Commodore 64 was a computer I had for a long time. And skulls in the foreground. That's pretty cool. Again, we got some rock music. Oh, they can shoot up. Apparently they're treating Kyle Reese like a Terminator. Because he's not ducking or covering. His skull's kind of... It's weird how they pop up. You just gotta man up and get shot sometimes, I guess. I don't know how much that makes you a man. But wow, those kind of look like the things from the Terminator ride, except they're not made out of liquid metal. Oh, they can shoot through the floor, but I can't. It's not fair. Thank goodness they kept me with the machine gun. Otherwise, I'd be a lost little man. It's weird to play a Terminator game. It's actually fun and good. Um, these are these maze levels again. This is the only thing. A lot of Sega CD games are like this. I that maze level. Where am I supposed to go then? Why can you shoot through the damn ground, but I can't? That's not fair. Alright, this does not help me at all. Do I need to blow this up? That doesn't work. I gotta figure out something. No, can't go through there. Shit. There's the creepy skulls again. Come on. There's probably something really obvious. And I know some people are probably watching this yelling at the screen trying to tell me what to do and there's a small part of me that wish I could hear him right now but by the time this video is aired this gaming session will be long over crazy internet do I need to blow this up somehow? mission paused there's no way I can change it. These don't blow up. This is kind of dumb. Probably some simple trick to this. Can I jump down? Maybe? No. This is pissing me off a little bit. Not really. I'm not getting angry over there. There's something to do with this. I don't imagine the game being that deep. Well, where are those little bomb things that I get? I can't use those. Come on now. I want to see more of this level, but I can't seem to get anywhere. Oh, I can't go there. 
Yeah, I was already there. I feel like I've been everywhere. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to end the video like this. I might rewatch how to play this game later on, and it's probably like the most simplest solution that I could have possibly thought of, and I didn't. Nothing to activate here, so it'll shoot. Yeah, most simplest solution ever. I can't tell what's a decoration and what's not. Son of a bitch, that's most of my health. Not Fuck that. Shit. Now they're all back from the dead. A little platforming. Yeah, you really need to use the grenades in this game. Chum chum chum. It's not fair, you know. I feel like you should that's what the checkpoints look like. Mean Terminator. Oh man. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm out of grenades too. Shit. Not that robot crab going everywhere. Oh, uh, thank goodness for some health, but. Looks like I'm almost out of lives here. Assembly line had a good day today. Shit. That's not cool. I should be able to see where I'm going. Oh, the health. Oh man, it feels so good. Fudge. I don't have any grenades. No idea if this is gonna help me or not. Oh, I need to. Well, that was just plain ass lucky. Well, that's a Christmas miracle right there. Watch this in December because I guess that wouldn't be really make much sense if if you're watching this when I aired it. I don't know. It's a little late if you're watching it now because it's pretty far into the video. Okay, what's coming up next? More probably the same scene. See, this is the music they should be using for the actual game. I wouldn't even care if this was the only song, really. It's just so perfect. But there's a lot of music they could have used from the movie. I know he d the composer didn't just make one theme. Maybe that's the only thing they had license for. I don't know. This combo looks like we must be getting close to the time travel area. Oh, those are like the things, the mini ones from Terminator 3. Maybe this shit was designed before that movie even came out. I know a lot of times when they make games, they'll look at the concept of it. Oh, it's an elevator. Why didn't I know this? I wish there was a little bit more warning time when those things are gonna fly down. I don't think it's a good idea to walk through that.
anything for all the shooting going on. They kept this place pretty pristine. You almost need to shoot your gun at the same time. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a T-1000. I guess this game would have came out. Um, I think this game did come out way after the Terminator 2 movie because if I remember correctly, I had a magazine that was after, like, 1991 that was in it. Oh, uh, poo. Well, there goes on a chunk of my life right there. Come on, you greasy son of a bitch. Let's go. Let's. I'm gonna risk. Damn, that thing took a long time to blow up. What was that, a robot dog? It came so fast, I didn't have enough time to look at it. So, can you jump through this thing? And it's not glowing? Yes, you can. It's so hard to tell, like, what you can walk through and what you can't on this game or what you can stand through. That's one of my main problems with this. And some of the foreground elements get in the way. I think they do it on purpose, too. Robot animals, I guess that's a good idea. His gun sticking through, that means I gotta jump through this shit. So health would be greatly appreciated. Now I gotta play the dodge game. I'm really gambling here. No one's white all the time. I don't want to mess with that. Seriously? That's not cool at all. I got a lot of grenades. They don't seem to be helping much. Health would be greatly appreciated. I would have loved this game when I first got on Sega CD. All those shitty Terminator games I played back then. The only one I really enjoyed back then was the arcade game. And even though everybody else hates it, I kind of like the, um, the platformer terminator for the shit. Oh, you don't continue. That sucks. Well, beside that, this is actually a really good terminator game. Probably the best terminator game that you can get that I've played. I haven't played the Super Nintendo version, and I haven't played this old PC version, but out of other all the other terminators that I've played of the first movie which I guess it doesn't leave a lot to go on actually I did play the first Terminator in Super Nintendo I take that back I, I finally remembered I did play it so I played the I guess the Genesis the Super Nintendo and the NES maybe another one or something but that's all I remember in most of the Terminator 2 games, this this is actually the best one. So if you have a Sega CD or have a means to play this or whatever, definitely check it out. It's difficult. Like I said, some of the foreground elements and stuff like that can get in your way. But I, I actually had a pretty good time playing this. So I definitely suggest this game. And remember, guys, to check out 
my channel description where I have a list of consoles and if there's a game that you want me to play on any of those consoles just um, send me a message either on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter and I'll be more than happy to play that game for you. Also remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Check this game out. Bye.